this. What's going on guys? We are Yu-Gi-Oh! here. So before I get off the video, I want to state this again. The next video up for the next great YouTuber is up on NimNim's channel. The video will be right here. Click on the link and give me a thumbs up if you want to see me go far. By the looks of it, I might be getting kicked out. I might not be able to win. But hey, if you guys want me to win and you support my channel, go on, head over, and vote. Every like counts. I would really appreciate if you want to see me win. But enough about that. Let's get on with the video for today. Video for today, if you can already tell from the title, is something that I actually want to talk about before, and that's draw power. But not just draw power specifically in a whole. Draw power, max C, just max C itself, played in the deck versus all other generic uh, draw power. Upstart, One Day of Peace, Card Demise, Pot of Desires, Reckless Greed, all that. It, it's not really against a card specifically, it's just whatever your preferred draw power, pod duality, all that, compared to Max C. And why I compare, or not why I compare, uh, blah, blah, blah. why I prefer Max C all over all over options still to this day, even with the newer options we have gotten. And I'm going to explain why Max C is the bomb. So Max C is usually used in all decks, well not all, but in most decks, but you still get the players that uh, don't prefer it, or they side it out against specific decks. But see, I'm for maining it. Now, some people would argue this fact, but I'm all for maining Max C because one, most decks, pretty much all of them, if there's something going to happen that will beat you, if it's any deck that can uh, put a challenge towards your deck, it's going to special summon a rapid amount of times. Special summon a rapid amount of times, you Max C. You maxi, you get draw power. You get draw power, you have an advantage. And that is what we like about this game. And the thing is with maxi is you can plus off it like crazy. When the other cards, you can only plus maybe one or so cards if you're lucky, depending on the situation, depending on the cards you're playing, or you won't plus at all. Uh, maxi, while there are definitely times that, you know, your opponent just doesn't go for it and he ends it, which we will talk about in a second, but there's also times where he's like, okay, I'm going for it. I'm going to special summon four monsters. Okay, you pitch one card, you get four cards. So you basically plus three, and that is fucking amazing. And you play two maxis in a deck, which is, you know, pretty great. But yeah, let's talk about that other fact too, is that sometimes it stops your opponent from going off, which is another thing I like about this card. Um, maxi, opposed to other draw power, besides the ability to plus like crazy, um, some people would say this is like a bad thing, but I enjoy... I like this fact that Maxi is it can prevent your play, um, your opponent from doing a play. Man, I am just tongue-tied today. Let me tell you. It prevents your opponent from doing a play. And I like that. Now, not all people do this. I have noticed that more, uh, I guess, people are playing competitively, I would say, usually just fight your Maxi to a degree. They'll play, they'll do their play and just try to somehow deal with your drawing. But a lot of players will stop in their tracks. If you pitch a Maxi, they'll just try to go not do anything crazy this play and give you the next turn. Yes, you pitch a card, but it prevented your opponent from doing anything crazy and gives you still an advantage to go ahead and have the one up on him. Which already in this game, it's an advantage if you're already going first. If you go first, make your field, he goes second, and then you pitch Max C when he's starting to do plays, and he's like, all right, I'm not going to do anything. And he gives it back to you. You're already getting more advantage than ever before. So whether or not he wants a special summon or he just wants to play it off and say, now nah, wait till next turn so he doesn't get his draws, you are already have a higher advantage because he didn't get to do much this turn, and even if he did do a lot this turn, you're going to draw three or four cards. So it can be a really great card to gain advantage no matter what scenario and depending no matter who you're playing against because they can either be like, yeah, I'll let him go, or be like, nah, nah, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, you can just, you can have your turn. So advantage right off the bat. Now, Another thing about this uh, that some people would argue, and I do see your point, and that's why I have played other cards in the past, is depending on the other draw power stated, you can just play it. You don't have to wait for anything specifically. You don't have to wait for your special summon, your opponent to special summon a monster to gain some advantage and draw some cards. Uh, you can just play this card. You can play Pot of Desires. You can play Card Demise, and you can gain cards. Upstart, you play it, whatever, you draw. Uh, I know it's not the same idea. Um, upstarts, you know, not the same, but... Still, you can just play this card, you get one card, you don't have to wait for your opponent to do something. So that is a definite fallback of this card um, of Maxi, is that it can't be used just willy-nilly. You have to be able to use it when your opponent special summon cards off, and you can't just pitch it whenever. You can't just draw Maxi and be like, oh, I'm going to use it and get one card back or two cards back. There's, you can't do that, which is definitely a, a hindrance and is why some people don't prefer it. But it's also a card that I feel like you should be playing these cards in conjunction with each other. To a degree, 
Or if you just have a slim deck and you don't, and the other draw cards don't really fit your deck, like some people don't like playing Pot of Desires or don't want to spend the money, uh, Maxi can definitely help you out with your draw power in the deck. And that's something I also wanted to point out is if you're trying to do deck consistency, yeah, Maxi can help with drawings as it is. But if you're playing cards like Upstart, One Day a Piece, and maybe some other type of draw card in your deck, um, I remember the three Upstart, three Reckless was a thing. I'm surprised people aren't playing three Reckless again with some of the other draw cards we have. But whether whatever it be, you play to thin out your deck more, playing those cards in conjunction with Maxi can give you even more of an advantage. So you can thin out your deck and then Maxi can help you gain plus, or you can just prevent your opponent from doing whatever he's trying to do. Also, something that a lot of players might like, and my budget people that watch this channel, is Max C's only 15 bucks per card. 15 or 16, you can find, probably find it cheaper at a card shop or on eBay somewhere else. I just went to Amazon real quick and saw that people, card retailers on Amazon, were selling it for about 15 bucks a piece for the super rare. So 30 bucks, all right. You got two pretty good, decent draw cards to use against an opponent, and you can, you know, whatever. Uh, meanwhile, Pot of Zyre's pretty hefty of a price card. And there's still debate out there if it's that great, considering it banishes 10 cards from your deck. So if you're trying to play a bit competitively more and you're kind of on a budget, Max C is probably a better option compared to Pot of Desires. And like I said, some people might play a conjunction of both, but in the most part, Pot of Desire, I mean, Max C is looking like a better option. So obviously this is more me, uh, my biased. I, I prefer Max C. Um, I don't like Pot of Desires as much. Like I do, I've played the card, I like the card but I definitely don't think it's worth the money that it's priced at, and I don't think it's that amazing, but there are definitely decks that prove that, hey, having the speed can help, so I'm not going to say the card's flat out bad, because I do like the card. But Maxi is a great card, and the thing is, too, people might argue, well, what if you play against a deck that doesn't really special summon that much? Okay, just like any other deck where you have a card that doesn't really work against your opponent, you side it out for the next game. That's just Yu-Gi-Oh. Sometimes you have cards in your main deck, if you decide made or not, that just don't work against your opponent. But Maxi, I definitely think it's something that should be mained or sided against your opponent because the majority of decks you're playing against are probably going to special summon like crazy opposed to coming across a deck that is not when you can side against that specific deck. So those are my thoughts on it. That's what I like about Maxi. I think Maxi's dope. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you What would you rather prefer? Just having generic draw support or having Maxi? Let me know down below. And I'm going to say this again. Go vote for me for the next great Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber on Nim Nim's channel. Vote me, give me a like on the video if you want to see me win and exceed on this competition. I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Damn.